the magazine as part of an art project that she was doing and tried to cajole me for a couple of days and I ultimately refused, which I'm still very sorry about. But um, I think that her work's amazing. I mean, she's somebody who uh, is not afraid to put political stuff in her work, but then also she doesn't make political boring which, you know, I think is quite a uh, task to manage. She's also someone who has, in the course of her practice, uh, catalogued her sneezes. She has put a vending machine that gives free crisps out in the CCA. Uh, she's done all sorts of uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, she's a visual artist, and tonight she is going to do a talk, which, as she mentioned before, is not something that visual artists always do, but I think in this case it's going to be uh, excellent. So this is our number 93 in the Hot 100. Can you please welcome Ellie Harrison? Okay, thank you Johnny, and uh, thank you to everyone in the list for inviting me to do this performance of sorts here tonight. Um, and thank you also, I might add, for making me number 93 in the Hot 100. I've got my very own t-shirt on handmade this morning. Um, so it feels like a real honour for me to be uh, acknowledged, I suppose, by my new adopted home, because I do consider myself to be a political refugee to a certain extent, and it's not that long ago that I fled from the Tory strongholds of southern England up here to Scotland. Um, so I'm very proud of my adopted country, Scotland, specifically because of its reluctance to smash up and privatise every single last aspect of our lives. Um, but that's a, a different story and I'm not going to talk about that tonight. So as, as uh, Johnny mentioned, my name is Ellie Harrison and I'm a visual artist, so standing behind a microphone is a bit of an odd experience for me, um, but it's odd but fun and I'm going to give it my best shot this evening. And normally my natural habitat would be much more um, in solitary confinement in front of a laptop just typing away, uh, pretending to work but normally just getting sucked into a space-time black hole that is social networking. Um, but when I do work, well when I'm asked what I do, I, I'm like most find it very, very difficult to actually give any sort of concise art, uh, answer to that question. But I thought seeing I'm on stage, I'd attempt to explain a bit of my working process. Um, it breaks down into a few different stages. Stage one would be reading and researching, I suppose, trying to find out more and more about what on earth is going on in the world and to try to make sense of it. Stage two involves doing quite a lot of worrying about all of the nasty stuff that I've just found out about. Um, stage three would be mulling over all of this information and I've got some composition next door, haven't I? <laughs> I can hear some cackling back there. Some, some, someone a lot funnier is, 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 is doing something next door, but I, I'm not... I'm not a stand-up comedian, so I, I've got a few gags, but they're coming, they're coming. And actually, I've got a trick up my sleeve, which, which is yet to be re revealed. It's quite literally up my sleeve. So, um, but the main, yeah, the basic idea is that I'm a visual artist, and I rely on visuals. And I was told that I couldn't have a PowerPoint here, which really put me out of my comfort zone. Um, so I thought that, um, I come up with a different technique for um, distract, uh, a visual technique for, for visualising my talk, I suppose. So, I wanted to start off by saying congratulations. I think nearly 50% of people in this room, if not 100%, are actually on the hot 100. So, fantastic, you are cultural icons, you are creative talent and extraordinaire, and I think you deserve a round of applause. Well, I, I think I deserve a round of applause for being number 93, so there's at least 92 of you that are, are, more, <laughs> are even more talented. 
appointed than myself. So congratulations to you. Um, I am quite excited about being in the Hot 100, um, but I'm also, as well as being excited, I'm quite a prudential person in that I spend a lot of time, the me in the present spends a lot of time worrying about the me in the future and trying to do stuff um, to help the me, in, the me in the future, make life a bit easier for the me in the future. And this is, I mean, I'm probably not the only person that spends time worrying about this sort of stuff, but I think it's a, a result of this side of my personality um, that my gut instinct to finding out that I was in the Hot 100 was to think, well, it's fantastic, it's really amazing to be in the Hot 100, but what am I going to do this time next year? What am I going to do this time next year when nobody really cares anymore, when I'm not in the Hot 100 and I'm just sitting alone on my sofa in my pyjamas watching telly? So that was my gut instinct, was to think about this time in 2012 when I just might not be hot anymore and to start worrying about how the, the me of the future is going to cope with that situation. And um, so I guess I'm not the only person who probably had this, this thought probably crossed their mind. But I think that a, a more productive way of using um, this energy would be rather than to, to kind of continually fantasize about my own downfall at some point in the future, it would be better to try to develop some sort of strategy for coping with the ups and downs of life. Um, and to try to develop some sort of strategy for um, coping with the, the peaks and troughs, um, the successes and the failures within life, with the goal being to sort of develop some way of mentally evening out these ups and downs so that you could just create a calm and consistent plateau of mediocrity which would just continue where you could just be totally at one with yourself. So I think if you can develop this technique for coping with ups and downs, it's going to help you on a personal level, but it also feels like something like that would be very useful to try to do on a national level, or maybe also more on a global level. So we all have heard about the double dip. I'm sure. The double dip is apparently on the horizon. It's going to happen in 2012, so they say. So this is the second re the recession that we're going to experience in the last three years. Um, so what was happening was the economy was growing and in, in, in 2008, thanks to this bank called Lehman Brothers, which I'd never even heard of before 2008, we were plunged into a recession and we went right, right down and down and down and then it started to come back up again and now, in 2012, it's going to start to go down again, apparently, and down 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 and then maybe back up again until 2017 when they say we might just have got back to the living standards that we um, took for granted at the turn of the millennium. So this recession that we're about to experience to me seems to be the economic equivalent of sitting alone on the sofa in your pyjamas. Um, and um, <laughs> this boom and bust which uh, I'm talking about is, is the result of a system which is kind of irrational and illogical that's driven by want rather than need and it has this obsession with growth which I think I kind of equate to um, what well, maybe I'm guilty of, I'm not the only one in this room having an obsession with success. But it's also the continual desire for novelty, which is the driving force of the consumerist society. Um, so I'd like to advance a little theory <laughs> that unfortunately, I think hit lists like the Hot 100 may just be symptomatic of the problem and that they exist really just to feed the desire for the new. So hit lists, hot lists, 
all of us in this room, unfortunately, are just part of the relentless innovation cycle, which requires us to infinitely consume more and more on a planet which only has finite resources. But what is the alternative, I suppose? The alternative could be just to stop just to stop all of this and collectively retire to the anonymity of our sofas and just sit there twiddling our thumbs in our pyjamas. But if we are going to stop, if we are going to stop, then when do we stop? That's the question. When do we stop? Because if we're going to maintain the status quo at some point, and if we do it now, then it's going to really look like a conspiracy because what will happen is that all those of us who are hot at the moment, the ones that are hot right now, who are in this room, um, will remain frozen in a state of perpetual hotness for the rest of eternity, never to be surpassed by the next wave of hot people. And finally, our evil plan will be complete. Woo! Maybe it's not the best solution either. In fact, I don't exactly know what the solution is. I'm just posing a lot of questions. But I do know two things. I know two things which I'll just finish up with. The first one is that my mum is going to be really pleased when I go home and tell her that I'm number 93 in the Hot 100. My mum is also going to be really pleased that finally, 32 years later, I have taken on board her advice of wearing a lot of layers in the winter months. She's going to be very pleased about that. But I'm finished now. I just wanted to conclude, I wanted to conclude with a toast actually because I haven't had any booze yet and I'm going to go, I haven't got any food on stage so, aww, thank you. Um, so, uh, I wanted to think, how, how am I going to take my last t-shirt off now? <laughs> I think it's only fair that we do enjoy this evening. Regardless of everything, I implore you all to spend one night relishing in your own hotness. This is your one night to relish and bask in your own success, okay? So everyone that has a drink, now my, my final sheet that's going to be quite disappointing, unfortunately. I'm really building up to them, it's not that close. But everyone that has a drink, raise your glasses. This is your night. You are the hot 100. You can forget about the future. Forget about the past. For one night only. We can all resume our worrying tomorrow. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Ollie Harrison. Thank you very much. So I'm not